Hi, and welcome to the Home Assistant How To with Bearded Tinker. Today we are going to play with the minimum and maximum values. Let's start in a couple of seconds. Before we begin today's episode, I really would like to thank all the members who have joined my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now, let's get cracking with the video. When I first installed my Tado heating system, I also wanted to track the minimum and maximum values of the temperature inside my flat. Because we live in a two-story flat, I wanted to see what is the influence of the temperature in one room to the temperature in the other room. There are a couple of ways you can do that and track the value, but one of the integrations that's already built in inside the Home Assistant is minimum and maximum values. Minimum and maximum value sensor allows you to track minimum value, maximum value, mean value, latest value, and similar. Today we will be configuring minimum and maximum value sensor, and for this I will be also using values from my Tado heating system. Of course, there are other sensors that you can use this integration with. For example, if you are using plant sensor, you can track the minimum and maximum values of the temperature, humidity in the soil, etc. So let's get started. This sensor has to be created inside the sensors file. Let's go to our Visual Studio Code or File Editor. And there, inside your sensors file or inside the sensors section of your configuration YAML file, we will create a new sensor. As my recording system here has a split configuration, what I have to do is I have to go to Entities, Sensors. Inside this folder, we will create three additional sensors. So for me, this will be three additional files. First file will be called Minimum Room Temperature YAML. Next one will be maximum room temperature. And let's create while we are already here average room temperature. Okay, let's start with the average room temperature. We have to create now a sensor. This will be platform min max this is the name of the platform then we have to list all the entities that we want to track and compare values with so for me this will be four tado devices that track temperature in each of the rooms let's list them here first we have to type entity ids and we have to list each and every temperature sensor We have now started integration, minimum, maximum. We listed all the entities. Next thing is to specify what type of the sensor we want to use here. Type. And let's type here mean. Last step will be giving it a name. Mean temperature value. So we have now to repeat this also for the maximum and for the minimum temperature. The easiest way would be to copy this, paste it here and change the type to max and name to maximum. We have created maximum room temperature and now let's create additional one, third one. This will be called minimum room temperature pasting here, change type to mean, and name also will be changed to minimum temperature value. Let's save this. And next step for us is to go to configuration, server control, check configuration, and hopefully everything is okay. For new sensors to start working, we have to restart our system. While the system is restarting, I'll take this opportunity to thank all the members who have joined my channel. 
Also, just a reminder to everyone, Home Assistant Conference will be held on the December the 13th. Down in the comment section you can find a link to the conference. If we now go to Developer Tools, we should see a couple more new sensors. Let's type here temperature. We have here maximum temperature value, mean temperature value and minimum temperature value. This is the minimum, maximum and mean. Let's click on three dots, edit dashboard, plus and let's call this heating. Save. And here I will be adding three sensors. Mean value. Maximum value. And minimum value. And now, as you can see, we have three new values from our heating. One is the minimum. Second one is the maximum. And third one is the mean temperature value. As I said, there are additional values you can get. This is the latest value and median value. If you, for example, have plant sensors, you can use these to track humidity inside your plant boxes or pots. Then if you have multiple humidity sensors, you can use these to track humidity inside your apartment or house, etc. And this is it for this short episode of Home Assistant How To with Beardy Thinker. I do hope that you find this sensor or integration very useful. I use it for two things only at this point, but maybe I will be adding more systems or more sensors and tracking the minimum and maximum values. If you have any kind of a comment or a question in regard to this video or any other video, you can always find me on the Discord server, but also you can leave comment down in the comment section below. If you still haven't subscribed, Please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future updates. And I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.